Now I do not recommend keeping fish in a tank that's too small for them. And that's primarily because I feel sorry for the fish. Now, if you keep fish in an environment that's too small for them, the fish will be stunted. So people say the fish grow to the size of the tank or grow to the size appropriate for the tank. That is because fish, like plants and other organisms, emit pheromones and phenols and other suppressants that are capable of stunting the animal's growth. Now, this is believed to also, to a degree, stunt the animal's life. But you can get over a natural life out of a fish in a stunted environment because many species of fish will actually grow larger and live longer than they would in the wild. But a lot of people will argue that if you put a fish in an environment that's too small for the fish, then it is cruel because the internal organs of the fish will continue to grow. Now this is a wives tale that's been made up by hobbyists because I've asked this question to many marine biologists, ichthyologists and vets that actually dissect fish and none of them have any evidence whatsoever to support the claim that the ratio of internal organ body or internal organ size to body size will be inflated in a fish that may have been um, may have experienced um, high pheromone and phenol counts in an environment that's too small for them. So there is no actual scientific evidence at all to believe that the internal organs of a fish continue to grow even though the environment is too small. I think they've somehow got that confused with turtles whereas if you don't have the right UV light and you don't have the right calcium in the water that the turtle can continue to grow and the shell does not grow resulting in the death of the turtle. That is a fact. The fact that the internal organs of a fish grow even though the fish is stunted and the fish does not grow is not correct to my knowledge. So I do not recommend keeping fish in environments that are too small but that is not because the internal organs of the fish grow. It is all relative to what the fish is used to though. Say for example they've done studies that suggest if you have a fish in an aquarium as a baby and the fish grows up in that aquarium it knows no different to that aquarium. It's very happy. It doesn't know any different. It doesn't think to itself, oh come on you tight ass, get me a new fish tank. It doesn't know, it's got no reference point. But they, they do believe that their studies have suggested that if you get a fish out of a big aquarium that's grown up in a big aquarium and put it in a small aquarium, there is signs of stress because the fish does have something to compare it to. The same as if you have a budgie in a cage. Even if you might think that cage is too small for the budgie, if the budgie's grown up in that cage and you let the budgie out of the cage, it'll often freak out and run back in its cage because animals know, they like what they know. Anyway, if you've got any other evidence to back up this claim or an opposing claim, then put a note down at the bottom of this video. But until then, fish's organs don't grow inside the fish when the external of the fish does not grow. It doesn't even make sense because the external was stunted, why would the internal not be stunted too?